Okay, uh, viewers, uh, pupils, wonderful boys and girls, I hope you are keeping safe. I'm Teacher Humphrey. I want to welcome you to this lesson for the day. The lesson of today, we are going to talk about algebra. That is the topic. Then the subtopic here we have solving equations. Solving equations. So we want to see how we can solve the equations uh, given the unknowns and the whole numbers. For example, we shall go with the examples that are here. The question here reads, find the value of the unknown in the first one we have W plus H is equal to 12. What are we supposed to do? The first thing, what do we mean by unknown? Unknown are the letters here. So we are supposed to make sure that we have the unknowns on the left hand side and collect the like terms which are the whole numbers together and then uh, one thing that you have to know is that uh, the sign here that is here the moment it crosses the equal sign it will change if it is a plus if it is a positive sign then it crosses the equal sign it will change to a negative sign meaning if it is a plus and it crosses the equal sign it will be a minus so for us to find the value of w for ex for instance now we are going to collect the like terms to take the whole numbers the other side so it is a plus this is a positive sign when the sign crosses the equal sign it changes to a minus so that is one of the things that you have to know pupils so we are going to have w is equal to w is equal to 12 of now instead of plus 8 we are going to have 12 of minus 8 then we are going to have our w equals to 12 of minus 8 we get 12 of subtract 8 you get 4 therefore the w is equals to 4 and that is our final answer then we come to this other one we have w plus 4 is equals to 15 so here we have w plus 4 is equals to 50. What are you supposed to do? Take the whole number the other side, the, on the right hand side. Have the unknown on the left hand side. So we are going to have w, collect this, take it the other side. If it crosses the equal sign, the sign changes. So we are going to have w is equals to 15 minus 4. Why minus 4? I've just said that the moment this sign crosses the equal sign, the sign changes. If it is a positive sign, if it, if it crosses the equal sign, it becomes a negative. Now we are going to have 15 minus 4. Therefore, our W will be, now solve this one, 15 minus 4, you get what? 11. Therefore, W is going to be 11. Let us look at this other one. V plus 6 is equal to 20. What are you supposed to do? Take this 6, the other sign. The moment this sign crosses the equal sign, it becomes a negative. Therefore, we are going to have V is equal to 20 minus 6. Then we are going to have V. Our V is going to be 20 minus 6. You get what? 14. Therefore, that is our final answer. Let us look at the fourth one. We have K minus 3 is equal to 5. Now this is minus. This is a minus. This is a negative sign. The moment this sign crosses the equal sign, that is the most important thing we have to know. The moment this sign crosses the equal sign, it becomes a positive sign. That, that means it becomes a plus. So we are going to have this one, the other side. Therefore k is equal to 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3. Because it is a minus here, if it crosses the equal sign, it becomes a plus now. So, 5 plus 3, we are going to have our k to be equal to 8. Therefore, that is the final answer. k is equal to 8. Then we have s minus 27 is equal to 3. What are we going to do? Take the whole number the other side. So we are going to have S is equals to 3 
plus 27. Remember I said that the moment this sign crosses the equal sign, it changes. Therefore, if it is a minus this sign, on the right hand side it will be a plus. Therefore, S is equal to 3 plus 27, you get 30. Therefore, S is equal to 30. Let us look at this other one. We have x minus 5 is equal to 11. What are we supposed to do? Take this 5 minus 5, you take it the other side. This negative sign, if it crosses the equal sign, it becomes a what? A plus. Therefore, that is the most important thing we have to know. Therefore, we are going to be left with x on the left hand side is equal to 11 plus 5. Then we solve now 11 plus 5. We have x being equal to 11 plus 5. You get what? 16. Therefore, that is the value of x. Then here we have 9y minus 8y is equal to 19. Here we don't have the whole number this other side. We simply need to solve this one these ones are like terms we have 9y we have 8y so we have 9y it's like having nine mangoes you take away eight mangoes if you have nine mangoes somebody gives you nine mangoes or maybe you have nine mangoes in a basket then you give eight mangoes away how many mangoes will you be left with it's, it's like saying 9y minus 8y so 9y minus 8y we shall be left with y is equals to 19 and we just stop there because we are we are supposed to find the value of the unknown the unknown letter that is y so y is going to be equal to 19 same applies to this one we collect the like terms we have 2x plus x minus 3 is equals to 7 so here we have the whole numbers and then we have this the like terms the x's now you say 2x plus x 2x plus x is equal to take this whole number the other side remember the sign must change so this is going to be 7 plus 3 2x plus x is like having two oranges and somebody adds you another orange you will be having three oranges in total therefore 2x plus x is equal to 3 x is equal to 10 so from there if we have 3x plus 10 we shall uh, find the value of x here by dividing the value the, the, the coefficient of x this 3 divide both sides by 3 by 3 therefore this one will go it will cancel then you remain with x is equal to 10 divided by 3 what do you get you can go the long division method 10 3 goes here 3 times because of 9 if you subtract you get what 1 therefore your answer is this 3 and this one all over this therefore your answer will be 3 and 1 all over 3 as the value of x so up to there uh, we can uh, have this one try to find the value of the following find the find the find the unknown in the following the letters we have x plus 2 is equals to 8 just to go by this this one you will take 2 the other side then you remain with we have x is equal to 8 because we are collecting so a plus 2 when it crosses the equal sign it will be minus 2 therefore our x is going to be 6 so pupils up to there we are coming to the end of the lesson and therefore I wish you to try the remaining part of this one to see if you can find the value of the unknown letters. Thank you. Remember the sign, the moment it crosses the equal sign, it must change. If it is a minus, 
if it cross the equal sign, it changes to a plus. If it is a plus here, for, for instance, this one, if it cross the equal sign, it changes to a minus. Thank you for your time, pupils, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.